John Edwards, Costa Mesa R&D. Today we've got an LS7 block on the mill, and we're going to have to machine this so that we can actually set it up for a stoker crank. I've already installed the crank and found out that the connecting rods are going to hit on the block in this location here on all the cylinders. It's kind of interesting because it's the opposite rod, the opposite cylinder the connecting rod hits. On the cylinder that the rod goes, uh, it doesn't hit on that side. So anyway, we're going to take and set this. We've got it set up. Now we're going to take and mill it. As you can see, I've removed all of the ink mark that was on there. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish up the block and then we'll put the crank back in and see if the thing clears. I've machined all of the uh, bosses on this one side and what I'm going to do now is install the crankshaft and double check to make sure that our relief is enough for the connecting rod to pass. All right, as you can see, we've got plenty of room now for the crank to pass and the connecting rod bolt to miss the block. What I will probably do is move this over just a little bit this direction and give it just a little bit more clearance, but it has about 60 thousandths, 80 thousandths in that range between the bolt and the block, which is plenty. All right, I've machined both sides of the block now. And now we should be able to put our stoker crank in here without any problem. And the thing should clear just fine. John Edwards, Costa Mesa R&D. See you soon. <laughs>